Imran. That's his strength. Puts that square of the wicket on the outside. First ball of the morning. That's a confidence builder. Imran just straying off line. Fine shot. And the first man could be well judged, three. It's just a fraction full. And his patience comes to an end as he pulls that just short of a length through mid-wicket. Give him run. Great run between the wickets by Haynes. He's looking for four. Is he going to come back? He is. That's excellent one-day cricket. shot came down to Whitby. He marched towards South on that occasion. Broke the shackles and whipped that away for four runs. Well, sign of pressure showing there. He had to do something. He made the advance towards the bowler. Well, he's certainly taking the initiative. One, two, three steps down the wicket. And Imran chasing rather slowly down there. He's had trouble with his legs. He's not all that mobile and he's been pushed down to deep fine leg. The point to make about that is that uh, whilst we're seeing some pretty good footwork there, the batsmen were not seeing any very good footwork from Imran. And this outfield was very slow. That ball could have easily pulled up inside the boundary. That's over the top. 15 over is not yet pulled, and the limitation for the fielding team having to have those fielders in those circles. And, uh, Greenwich going over the top. Could take the chance, didn't get hold of it, but nevertheless, the restriction on the field placing allowed him to go over the top. It's a completely safe shot. No one out deep and good, and Greenwich just lobbing it over. Those circles, and perhaps the other evening in the McDonald's Cup match in Sydney, it may have even been six that hit. There he goes again. Again, not getting hold of it. This time, Haynes taking the example from his partner from the previous delivery. And the batsman will again get three runs. Well, that's a glorious shot. That's four runs. No need to move. Even applause there from his partner, Gordon Winner. Just the best shot we've seen for the morning. Extra cover drive. Perfectly played by Haynes. It's a great shot in the old cover drive. There's none better than it. And it's way. Really fast outfield at the MCG, but had no problems whatsoever in reaching the down. And that's the West Indies 50. In fact, they'll now go on to 51 with two runs as Ijaz Faki, who is out there, the 12th man. There he is. On. So that's 51 between Greenwich and Haynes, and they've now started really to find their touch. The runs are now coming a lot more freely than they were earlier. And that's through. Well timed. More runs here. Long chase for Rizwan. The batsman coming back quite comfortably for their third run. Good long return from Riz Rizlan, but it was all his three. Kane's really going for his drives now. Took almost half an hour to get off the mark, Haynes. Didn't score his first run until the fourth over. And now he's really going. He's Catching up with Gordon Greenwich, 27 to Haynes and 28 to Greenwich. Well, that's the first appeal we've heard for the day. Loud shout for leg before. Greenwich looking to hit it away on the onside, hitting that front pad and quite high too. 
So kind of a little excited at beating the bat. That's a good shot. Very unusual looking shot by Greenwich, but he really hit it hard. Didn't seem all that short. It wasn't, Tony. It was well pitched up. A bit of bounce there, and good wicket this for batting, and Gordon Greenwich just helping it on its way behind square leg. Look, he comes forward, just hits it right in the middle of that bat. That's a good firm on drive by Haynes. And a bad bit of fumbling down there. At uh, long on, Rizwan, the fielder, goes for four. Really should have been just a single. But uh, the batsmen were hurrying. Fielder under pressure. And a bad bit of misfielding. It was well hit by Desmond Haynes, but certainly only a single. See Rizwan really attacking it, not getting down, not getting behind it. And let's see what he does this time. That's better. That's a bit of a... A rubbish from the crowd. That's a big hit, going way down towards deep mid-wicket and over the top. So six there for the Greenwich, middling that one down to the deep mid-wicket boundary, and that's Easton. We've got that one in the middle, and this could be an expensive move by Javed to bring on Majid Khan with these gentle little slow medium pace deliveries placed between two men there margin eventually doing the fielding and good thinking there by Desmond Haynes came back on the arm reasoning that margin's arm might not be the strongest in the Pakistan team neat stroke. Desmond Haynes goes to 50 with that delicate little stroke just through the vacant slip area. Been good innings from Desmond Haynes. His 50 came up in 65 deliveries faced and 96 minutes. Have a look at that little nudge. Just opening the face there and just getting enough on it to beat the weird keeper. So a well played 50 by Haynes. Good shot. Hanging away into the crowd there. Four more to Greenwich. Goes down from 68. Majid Khan. And there's a beautiful, beautifully struck ball and not a very good piece of fielding. Out there at uh, deep mid wicket. Pakistan fielding isn't working very well here today. They're under tremendous pressure. Mansur Akhtar out there at uh, deep mid-wicket. Desmond Haynes, another four, goes to 58. And another one goes down. Uh, this is a real comedy of errors here for Pakistan. And so I suppose when looking at this, that's a marvellous shot. Played away there, that sweep shot off the middle of the bat for four, like a tracer bullet to the boundary, that Desmond Haynes. So when one considers uh, that aspect of the game, the, the fact that the players can, in fact, lose quite a lot of money, if the overrate is bad news. Only the Pakistanis have been just a little bit slack in the field. The field is very widespread. And straight back and down. Goodness me. Oh, and do you think it didn't hurt? This was hit back very hard, and Quasim had to get his hands there, that's for sure. <laughs> he got them there all right, but it went straight out. Well, it looked to me as that might have got him on uh, the fleshy part of the thumb. Uh, certainly very painful, a full-blooded hit back. Good pitch, that full toss, and uh, my goodness, uh, it stayed hit. Gordon Greenwich gave it everything he had. <laughs> Quasi. <laughs> Have a look at him. Just a 
big ground and uh, it's a vitally important aspect of the game and there's another example of it that time Desmond Haynes just leaning back rather than try to smash it to the boundary for four he's placed it to perfection in the result be 35 overs in two hours 17 and a half and over 105 balls an hour I never thought I'd live to see the day Bravo the penalty system and four more four more to Greenwich top player Gordon Greenwich and Desmond Haynes the non-striker they've really played well here today he latched onto that one too and uh, good effort by Imran Khan who's uh, not slow by any standards. Think of all the wealth of batting still to come in the West Indian lineup. Yep. And they're finding the gaps and running well between the wickets. The scoring rate's been fantastic in the first hour. They scored 62 in the second hour, 103 runs without loss. In the air is high. One bounce over the fence. Four more. And it's a very controlled hitting situation by these two batsmen. Frank, they're really finding those gaps. They certainly are. And Irving Rosenwater was just pointing out to me a moment ago that that would probably constitute about the 11th four of the innings. The two batsmen have not really tried to hit their way to the boundary, but have been content to place the ball. Trying to force it down the gap. It's one for 182. Hayes backing away as he's done so often. Look at that. He's outside his leg stump. His leg stump is tilted back. Ball coming 